Cleveland, check out this new hangout. Cloak and Dagger is a new cocktail bar in Tremont in some say a cursed location. Oh my, but by dressing it up to resemble an author's study, this new haunt may be a hit. Three News food expert Doug Tratner has your front row tonight. I'm in Tremont just off Lincoln Park at a very prominent location that over the years has been many different things, but now it's Cloak and Dagger, a cocktail bar with a literary theme that I think is gonna be around for a while. I'm here with Casey Hughes, who recently opened Cloak and Dagger Bar in Tremont. First, congratulations on building a beautiful bar. Thank you so much. What's the story behind the story? So we wanted to go a little bit more quiet, comfortable. So taking that approach, we took the route of going book themed. So this whole place is themed after a retired author's study. It's all leather, velvet, suede, soft, dim lighting and it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's, it's, it's clearly a place you want to linger with a cocktail. And continuing on that book theme, your menu is, in fact, a, a book. Um, is it really kind of a story? Uh, it tells a story from front to back, beginning to end? So the menu itself is a book. It takes you on the first tale of life and death, which is from light cocktails to dark cocktails. So these are different ends of the spectrum. So the first one we have is in the tall glass. It's in most light. It's actually our first cocktail on the menu. So it's going to be the lightest on the menu. The opposite side, we have King of the Dead. It's easily become our top selling cocktail, probably because of the cold brew ice cube that's in the shape of a skull in it. You've also taken a, an interesting approach with the food. Uh, you have decided to go all vegan. Todd Kronika came in one day after being tagged in one of our posts when we were looking for a chef and he blew our minds with what he had to offer. He makes incredible food, he makes it all handmade, it's all his own stuff, and it is incredible. There's no other way to describe what he does with food. Sticking with the literary theme, Edgar Allan Poe might say that this location is cursed. Uh, I know we've had fun with that. Um, I've been writing in Cleveland for a while, and I know this spot has turned over many, many, many times over the years. Um, what are your thoughts on the whole idea of cursed locations or, um, you know, spots that they kind of come with history? We got into the space and we learned a little bit more about the past people that were here. And we learned it wasn't the space itself, it was the people in it. They didn't take the time to get people to notice the space. So as for the curse thing, I don't think it's real. We have a lot of fun with it, so. No, I agree with you. There's no, there's no such thing as a cursed location. There's only bad ideas, bad execution, you know, and, and many other things. You have one of the most beautiful spots you know, in Tremont, which is why so many people have been attracted to it over the years. So good luck. Thank you for building such a beautiful bar. I can't wait to try the cocktail. Thank you so much. Cloak and Dagger also serves mocktails, something that they believe all bars should be offering to people. Uh, we have their full menu at wkyc.com backslash front row. And that place looks like a very elegant joint to have a couple of cocktails. I feel like I, I feel like I was like in Sherlock Holmes study. I getting kind my buzz of, on. Yeah, it looks really neat in there. And I kind of think your aesthetic matches that a little bit. Do you, do you, Thank you. model after a, That's a, what I'm an going author's for. study? Haunted deceased author is actually <laughs> the name of my, my fashion sense and my design sense. So it's nice <laughs> that you noticed that. Happy to.